Hello, hello, good day. I am back here in Poltava. It's just gone spring and I think, okay, so I've been messing around with the fields and the plowing thing or a little bit, or maybe because it's, we've only got the one cow here. Um, yeah, I don't remember how I set these fields. Plow this, okay, so I have set to not be plowed. That one is being plowed and that one is not. So, and I, we were talking about that before and what is happening is what I hoped would happen is that while they're getting around to plowing this, they're not just standing around twiddling their thumbs. These guys are actually out planting something. So hopefully that will be completed by the time this gets going. Look at the little horsies and carts. Is he cute? <laughs> Oh, I keep, when I was logging in, I'm looking at this countryside and these wide open fields and then kind of sparse forests that you would have an easy time getting through. And I just keep thinking what an outstanding country this would be for riding horses. It's, it's just, it's kind of, kind of epic. I like it. So now when you look at this, it's just telling you what's possible to get off the field. It's not telling you what you would really get off the field. Now this one's 2240, this is 2280, but the size differences are, yeah, there, there's, you know, this one's a little bit longer um, by a, a unit, whatever that is, or two. So they're still doing this. Hopefully, is someone going to come out and plant this new? No. So maybe the thing to do is only to use the plow on whatever's going to be the last field. <laughs> I mean, this is okay, because I guess they would finish that anyway, right? That's what they're going to do. So so let's have a looky at our coups. I'm going to pause while this happens, because when you click on something, sometimes the uh, butcher just takes them so quickly that... And I hate it when you get over here. If you're not really careful, you just end up scrolling. Anyway, so we have a 10-year-old bull. I'm going to keep this guy I, unless we have a one-year-old you know what we're gonna keep you instead just save the extra year there I have no idea how long they live but I want to make sure I have a breeding possible bull on hand just in the off chance so this is going to be our next stud muffin uh, I don't want to do any more oxen at this point I mean it's fine it was good I'm glad I know I don't know that there's a benefit to me yet at this point, so I'm, I mean, maybe there was, I'm not really seeing it, I don't know, I don't know, and we do have to feed them all year round, and that's, I, with their eating, I can't remember what it is, 15 or 50 a month, I, I, you know what, I don't remember, I looked it up once, but I don't remember, um, so at any rate, and I may have set I didn't set limits on either, okay, because I didn't, I couldn't remember, that's what it was. I did look it up, but I got nothing, because I probably don't really care. <laughs> so we're going to get rid of the rest of these bowls. We will keep the two, the one-year-old, and uh, yeah, that's good. And that side, and then over to here, cows, cows, cows. We have a one-year-old there that we are taking care of, that's good. I'm sorry, guys, I really am. You know, you get rid of the old ones and you get rid of the boys and it just feels so ageist and sexist and wrong and God, the realities of harsh country life or a settlement in this case, they really are rough. They, they are. Tis true. Okay, we still have people there and there and there. The one guy in the chicken industry. someone working there and you are still filling up that's good you get I yeah employees and this one what do we have oh they're breeding they're breeding nicely so are these I wanted to make sure that these did not get slaughtered at any point oh just in case I missed that um, that cut off until like I had a chance to get back and actually you know see what's going on so a, a lot of a lot of young balls here unfortunately we have veal tonight, fellas. Oh, yummy. 
yummy for your tummy. So we're at 177 people. Um, I know there was a comment or two about not stopping at 200. <laughs> and I, I'm still enjoying it. There's a part of me that just wants to see, you know, I, we can't move back too far here, but you know, we'll go ahead and finish that and maybe put in a few more fields. And we could have a great big forest industry over here maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I just want to see, you know, how long can I go before I completely mess up? <gasps> Look how lovely this is. We could put a trading post over here and just start another another little village. And that's often how things grow, right? You'd have a village here and a village there, and then somebody would go, oh, I am so sick of my neighbor's music. I just can't handle this anymore. So you go living over here, and you go, oh my god, the trade's going by. I know. I'm going to get in on that. So they put up their own little trade center, and suddenly there's a community there anyway, and then some year they just connect, and you know, you've got, you've got New York, or Toronto, or London. <laughs> Wandering around London is, oh, it's so amazing. There's so many, every neighborhood, there, it just has its own feelings so much. You can get into places where you feel like you're in a village. You don't even feel like you're in the middle of a city. And it, I, oh my God, I love it. I love the Kew, uh, Kew Gardens area. It's just freaking delightful. I, I, oh, I just, yeah, it's good. Anyway, we have we have some flour, we have buckwheat, we have no wheat because it's been made into flour, so you know that's okay. It seems to be getting into the barns and the, the animals are getting it first, so that's probably as it should be. <gasps> we have potatoes here. Whoa! What is this? Where's my potato place here that had so many? Did this get shuffled? Okay, see what I mean about this? Sometimes I swear I come back and um, Things are not, remember we were like, I, you know, I guess it got moved. I don't know. But, you know, we have a few potatoes. That's awesome. We got lots of fish. The dried fish, we got a fair bit of that too. These others are not, you know, but these are what I think of as like second level food. You know, buckwheat, wheat, potatoes, veg, your fruit. That's, that's you know, you, you take it, you eat it, step one. These things, you have to do this. And then you go down in there and feed them that, and then you get kind of the next level. And they're always a lot more, um, a lot more environmentally intensive, I guess. So they, you get less, and they cost more. And we still only got potatoes. Well, we got a few bits of beef and some fish there. That's not doing really well. How is this doing? What you doing? So you know the the food's coming in. Okay. And if they want more variety, they can just hike up the road. I mean, it's it's a good wee walk. I get that, but so we are in the black. That's always nice. Do we need more honey? I, well, they're using some, but I think we can probably live without it at the moment. Actually, let's have a, a wee pause. Oh well, you know we get 20 days. That's okay. Just remember to look. Uh, the hemp. Where is it to do? We only we don't have much there. Do we have any down in the where is it? Right in front of my face. Hello. Over here. Um, there's some there. And how are you doing? That's not the right one anyway. Weaver, you. Okay, well you're doing whatever. Okay. We probably don't really need any, but we can definitely sell the lime. 200, that's good. Sunflower, we have enough for that. Five. So that's over 800 so far. That, yeah, okay, so we're getting up close to 900. And you know what? I'm not going to sell everything, but we can take another 150 there. So you get close to 1,000 gold. That's good. Whoops, I keep hitting escape to do things that escape won't do. I've decided long ago. So we do have people working there. These guys are doing their thing. So the salt is going down. Well, we'll keep an eye on that. That's all. So we have lots of sunflower oil there. How much do we have? Well, we got some. It looks like we could put that up more too. Ooh, isn't that exciting? I am a whole happy horseshoes. I mean. We're not selling, it, they never buy that many, do they? I don't think I've ever actually sold that many. Maybe, but I don't think so. Um, we could add, put some numbers up a wee tizzle. And I want to check over here too, make sure there's still food at this part of the world. 
<coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so, I mean, they're, they're, you know, they're okay number. They're not great, big, ooh, we've got pots, but there's numbers there. At least there's a balance of, of products, so that seems like a good thing. And these guys do have all of the things in place. Do, do, do. and we have no chicken meat but you know there'll be more coming I expect this is probably getting into that market relatively quick yeah you would think so anyway how be your buckwheat well we could uh, do we want to I mean it, it's not like a big expensive thing but ah the hell with it let's start stocking up Let's just start stocking up. So this has been planted. Uh, we are only, well, April. It's not too bad. So we've got buckwheat this year, sunflowers, and wheat. So we only got one sunflower coming off this year. Ooh. That's probably pretty much gone already. we got a little bit there, but not a hell of a lot. And he's wandering in from wherever the hell he lives. Uh, and there's no more here. So... The sunflower oil is going to be dropping in production for a bit. This is sunflower, sunflower, and... Oh, over here this year. So all three of these are getting done. Okay, and hemp. So there's no food coming off this one this year. Keep that in mind, Ava. Wheat, buckwheat, and... Where's the other? What do you mean, fallow? How the hell... Is... Oh, potatoes are up there. So it's that one, that one, that one thing. Getting, getting. Okay. Tisket potatoes. All right, let's speed that up again, shall we? Yes, we shall. So, if we're going to continue on this route, if this is our main market area, I mean, how far we can go? We can go more rows here, can't we? We could also put maybe fishing over here if we need more jobs or more food. Why is your boat kabooted? What are you doing with your life here, Sunshine? Because we have a boat that is broken. What is your problem? Where are you going? Buying food. You know you have to work before you eat, right? Oh, he's a cutie. Not keen on the, on the stash, but he's a cutie. We has a thatchery. Did we move thatch up here? We did. You know, if I moved, if I put clay in, will they go and get it? I can't even store clay. So prop, no, well maybe. Um, no, they won't. They won't even go and get it. So if I'm gonna have clay handy on this side so that building is quicker, I'm just gonna have to put in another another hole of, of um, everlasting doom. It'll never go away. I don't wanna bother. I mean, it would be quicker, but it's quick. quicker's not always a good thing. Quicker is just quicker. Sometimes it's good and sometimes it's less good. But we do have housing that we could still, um, we, we've still got two houses left. And then I guess we could start the next row. If we put these back to back, we've got the, you know, the little over the garden gate, you're out back, you know, with your own little homegrown potatoes and you stand over the fence with your cup of tea or your beer on a hot summer evening and chat with your neighbors and all those fun things. I did it. I just, you know what? If you put it away and just grab it again, it'll come back straight. <laughs> no, it's not. Will you piece of do? <laughs> so one of my patrons asked me today if I would be interested in Grounded or um, another game. What's it called? Um, oh God, something zero. Shoot. And they both look, they actually both look kind of cute. Actually, Grounded looks amazing. I put it on my wish list a while ago, but I actually started reading reviews. He said, would you like this one or this one? And it was like, well, I'll go look. And I'm going to have to look more. I just did a really quick flyover of reviews of both of them today. And while Grounded has, Grounded sounds a lot like this game. It's early access. It's absolutely amazing. Everybody's loving it. Um... Actually, it doesn't sound as good as this game. It's like, it's a great game. It's early access. Everybody loves it. There's not enough of it. And it sounds like that one may be even, even more so than this one. 
Uh, someone was asking me about bakeries or the things that are available. The production line at this point, you get the basics. You've got your forestry. Um, we can't do any mining yet. We can do the clay pits, uh, the thatchery down here, you know, where you're gathering reeds and stuff, those sort of basic things. We can do a farm, pig styes. Now, I have had some people tell me, oh my god, the pigs just eat so much, they're not worth it, and that's why I haven't bothered with them. And we may try one just cause. We'll, we'll see how that goes. I don't know. When I, when I have enough food. <laughs> I mean, and the thing with the pigs, you can just stop breeding them and kill them all and you don't have a problem anymore. Like with the oxen, I mean, I'm going to leave the ones I have. I could starve them out. If I, if I quit supplying the farms with, with food, the oxen will die. So that's an option, but you know what? We're doing fine. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take that option. So with the chicken coop, the cow shed, and the pig sty, um, that's for your veg. This is for you know that that you know the wheat to flour thing. But we don't have a flour to a bakery thing. That's not available yet. We can do you know slaughterhouse tannery, and from there we can move on to the um, the shoemaker and the saddlery. So that's. You know that's a production line that's that's a little bit more advanced i guess these also need the uh like buckle you know they need metal parts you got to put you know there there's bolts there's things that hold saddles together so that's that's available to us although we can't mine it yet we do have stone and limestone um they do seem to be quite limited on the map and maybe that's the cutoff point when i run out of those basic you know, can't get limestone anymore and I have to start buying it or something, maybe when the map's clear, maybe that's time to quit for a while. Until the next update, and then I can come back to it, see? Because this guy is always, they're always updating. There's always something new, which is awesome. Um, we do have, you know, we can grow the hemp and then do the weaving and the tailor stuff. We do have the boat yards, which take care of the fishing boats and stuff like that. The oil, you know, for something to sell. Uh, the hay, you know, to, to get those dried grasses for hay. When you grow wheat, you get straw. You don't get hay, you get straw. So that's interesting. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, when you're growing wheat, you're going to get it with straw and grains, and this is cutting grass, you get the hay. Carpentry for the, the you know, to, to be making our saddles, and, or not saddles, but our wagons and plows. And that seems to be pretty much, I think that's all they do. The lime works and the lime kiln, um, we do need that for some of the, the kind of chemical processing for the, um, the tannery. So that's the thing. The smithy for our nails, we can't mine or iron yet, but we can buy iron and make those bits and bobs. And then charcoal to use as the fuel for running some of this stuff. But So that's the entire production line yet. Obviously, based on this being an alpha game there's going to be a lot more to come you know you wonder about bakeries will there be other crops will we be able to do beer or wine perhaps cheese making sounds like a natural one um, yeah I'm, I'm quite excited to see what this guy does the trade this is mostly like trade and or storage just sort of public buildings I guess you know the selling of stuff to make money uh, decoration, decoration. I love it that he's already got decoration. Can't wait to see what else is coming there. Education, schooling, and that isn't even a thing yet. Neither is health. There are no hospitals, clinics, um, apothecaries, herb things, whatever. We've got this is your basics for religion, so that's kind of cool. And and just the one house. And I'm, you know, maybe there's gonna be more. Yeah, looks like water that's good so so the game is is far from finished and grounded looks to be the same the other game seems to whose name why can i not remember it um it seems to be more complete and it's beautiful and it reminds me it's like playing elder scrolls online meets arc or something two of my favorite games in the world ever so it looks pretty damn good to me but um but it's, it's got a lot of bad reviews about crashing and stuff. And I don't have the newest computer in the freaking world, let me tell you. So I'm a little worried that that might be a problem. I don't know. So the, here we're into the halfway through May. And they are only still sewing this, for God's sakes. That's a really, really late growing season. That's not good. 
That is not good at all. And this one had, I mean, this one got done a lot sooner, obviously, but there's our Rikus. Is that a new guy? I decided long ago never to walk in any shadow. I suppose we could try a pig. Well, we'll get a few more houses in. We're gonna get some more houses in. I might put, you know, just a farm with one, like just three, or maybe four. We'll just put four fields in the next one and just go like a two and two and see how that works out. If it works out any more efficiently. I mean, they're plowing this now, and, and a lot of times we, we lose part of the crop. But on the other hand, they wouldn't be doing anything anyway, right? And half a crop is probably better than none. Well, actually, I would bet you if you're hungry, half a crop is a whole lot better than none. <laughs> what am I saying? Of course it is. <laughs> Damn. Okay, let's check the wells. The whole water thing frightened me that one time. It's like, you must pay more attention I thought, did I not have one in here? Oh, it's over here. Whoops, where are you? Okay, you're doing fine. I know we have, we get our one little pet horse over here who we just feed for no particular reason. But what the hell? And this, uh, we've got all the required bits in there. That's lovely. Tis most goodly. The hay situation's got me a little freaked out because now we've got four of them down. Feeding these oxen are making a huge freaking difference, guys. Do keep that in mind when you, if you decide to go for oxen because these have always been full, managing to feed all of our cows without an issue, and suddenly we have a problem. And I don't know, that, I mean, there's no way to tell our laborers, get your butt out there and get that done. So, a little bit creepy. We may end up with a whole bunch of beef next winter. If this doesn't do something this over this summer, we are going to have a problem. Okay, there's somebody doing hay. I'm thrilled to see nobody's getting out here that we have one big freaking deal. But we need more. And they're not doing these. What, how are the laborers going? Maybe if I had enough unemployed people, they'd go do something with their lives. I don't know. I mean, we have 20 people right now at a time when probably the only thing they're doing is moving. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're moving product into the granaries, and that's good. But, ew. There are things that could be more good get a couple there. Yeah, they really need to be hauling hay off. There's just the one here that's being cut. Come out, girl. That's my girl. Cut grass. Now she's bringing that in instead. Actually, let's find out where she's going. Holy camoli. Now, why would she come all the freaking way out here? Supplying resources. She's going all the way out there to pick up hay that's already been cut, grass that's been cut, instead of walking right there to go cut some grass. Oh, I wish I could say her name because she and I could have a discussion about this, taking a rest. Well, it's a bit of a haul. No wonder you're taking a rest. Hmm. Yeah, okay, well there, I mean, there's some here now, but, but, but we've got six oxen just sitting there eating it through the summer, too. We need people putting, they're taking it off, but they're not actually cutting the grass. And that's a bad thing. See, she took some off there, and, okay, she cut a thing. Thank you. Do it more. There you go. There you go. That's what I'm wanting to see. That's my little girl. You too. Are you doing that too? Yes. Choppy choppy. More, please. You Tell me yes what you're doing too. Okay? Yeah, that's my girl. Well, they're keen on this one. <laughs> um, 
That one's getting used. Oh my goodness. Well, hopefully, if we've got enough people, you know, actually taking care of this over the summer, we'll get this sorted out. But where'd the other little girl go? I lost her. Wow, that's a tight fit there, dude. <laughs> Seriously? You think you you think this is a good idea? This is your choice. Oh, come on, fellers. I mean, really? Why it, why not just just, you know? <laughs> Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. That's Okay, so this is like fence time, because that, that just looks like, come on, you can't really be doing it. Can you really be doing this? Because that just seems like a bad choice. I'll go like that. <clears throat> I decided long ago Whatever to walk in and where are you going there, sunshine? Oh, good, good. Oh, somebody was out here. Okay, I don't know where I thought she was going, but... Okay, she's doing that, so that's good. So we do at least have some people working on that this summer. Oh, those two are walking together. They're in love. Oh, he was holding her hand. I could see that. We got four carts here. Nobody's using them. All right, that's good. I'm glad they're being useful and all. I mean, somebody has, obviously, but I wonder if we should put up another carpenter somewhere. I just go check on that boat guy. I'm a little worried about him, too. Okay, so we do have some hay being, you know, but it's not, it's not filling up as fast as I would like. It's already getting toward the end of June. The season is it's half gone, our, our hot time of the year. Ha, ha, ha. No, yeah, we'll just have to keep an eye on that. Like a close eye. Maybe even both eyes. Okay, what are you doing with your life? Taking a rest again. Are my boats fixed? Because, dude, I'm about to fire your backside. Okay, these are functioning. That's good. That's a thing. These are functioning. And you have been saved. No firing for you. Good boy. Tis most goodly. So you'll be all out of all the sunflower stuff by now. Man, there's just no... It's so fast. That production chain is so fast. There's just no possible way to get ahead of that. That is amazing. So we do have a weaver and a tailor working. So we, we've got a number of... Uh, we've got quite a number of laborers, but they're, you know... Even keeping everybody, like, you know, even with these guys working you know, not firing them on a constant basis. The tannery is there, that warehouse has someone in it, and that warehouse has someone in it as well. And they are filling these up slowly, that's good. Not this one though. So that's going to that, where are the clothes going? Do I store clothes anywhere? I think the only place I have clothes is Oh, that's an extra trading post, which I don't really feel like I need now. There was one extra thing I wanted to start selling, and then I decided not to, and it just sort of sits there and takes up space, but oh well. So our, again, our population has gone up. going to want, what do we want back here? We are going to want things. So you're going to have a nice new road build up around there. It's good seeing these proper roads, isn't it? I quite I quite like that. It's pretty good. We could do another little chapel somewhere. I don't know what the actual religious needs are. I don't think it's that's completed either. I mean, it's at some point 100, 200 people, 100 people. Uh, I, I think that's around the time they decide they want a church for migration, but uh, past that, I yeah, I got nothing. I don't know. I believe, whoops, I put in, now see, I know I put in, and they're not showing, because I have a very clear memory of having put in a whole row of, um, of gravestones there, like grave sites for, for future use. I 
Oh, they are there. They're just not showing. Oh, they are. Look at that. They're right there lined up. I was about to say, where the hell did they go? But they are there. Okay. It's like, dang it, dang it. I thought I'd messed up something or forgotten to save or some damn thing. Alrighty. And how's the hay? Uh, see, that's not going up because the, the, the oxen are eating it as fast as they cut it. Now, I've got three oxen over here, so that hay is having to come from Timbuk frickin' two, isn't it? Um, I should probably have, I should have some hay over here somewhere. Where could I do that that they would actually cut it, I wonder? Okay, so there's the barn. We want that relatively close. A storage place here somewhere. And look, well, the, the cart's come in and out of here. No, they don't because, oh, looky, I have none. <laughs> Damn, Sam. That's good. That's, that's good. And that's the problem. With, I've done that so many times with the carts. It's like, oh, I did that again. Oh, well, that's fun. I could tuck one at least back here, too. Can I get two in there? I mean, I probably could, but it might look... Yeah, it's going to be out in the road too much. Yeah, I don't want that. We'll, we'll put the one there. That's, that's fine. That'll be fine. And we could put another... And we definitely want it very close by. I mean, I could put one here and then have some cutting places. It's a little bit closer, right? Sure it is. You know what? We're going to tuck one. We'll tuck it in right there. Ah. Uh, never to walk in shadow. Or, or, more better is this way. And then I can line up a couple of them here. You know, this is me being Miss Optimistic again. <laughs> Lots of hay. It'll be fine. And then, you know what? We've got people right here. I'm just going to put a row. Well, I'd like to probably put a row of houses. We're going to put a row of them right here. Yes. Do, 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 do. Places occupied. Well, ish. Totally ish. Like so. Like so. Maybe if they're just all over the place, they'll stumble on them or something, right? Let's go with that. Yeah. <laughs> we just have these things dotted all over the place. It's like, oh, I tripped on this big pile of grass. I know, I'll cut it and dry it. We have a plan. Oh my God, another half hour's gone by. Okay, so. Hmm. There was a... Um, I keep thinking, where's the hay? There was a, I don't know, some commercial a long time ago about, it was, I don't know, some fast food joint or something. I don't know. It was like decades ago. It was forever. And they would show some little granny, I think, opening, you know, going to a fast food place and taking the top off our hamburger or something and going, where's the beef? And it, it just sort of stuck it was it was a thing it was just a thing for a very long time and uh, I should let that one go and um, I don't I, I been, it's been in my head because you know cows beef and I'm going where's the hay uh, whatever oh the brain or what's left of it I don't know do 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 anyway it's been over half an hour i am going to shut up and i will be back with more of these because i am loving the game and i've started i've got some dawn of man recorded i've got some ck2 recorded with quill now that was live stream content and i know it's kind of a very different crowd over here in youtube but i'm going to put them online anyway because i had a lot of fun and he's just helping to teach me the game and ck3 is coming out at the end of this month and i'm definitely going to be recording that because i love the game it's quite nice. Um, fun, fun times. I love CK2. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to shut up now. And I'm going to start the green hell recordings. I'm getting up there. And maybe even ESO. Ooh. I'm going to have all the things. I just want to work all the time. I am so happy and enjoying myself so much getting back to this. It's feeling really good. 
So guys, thank you. Thank you for the comments and the thumbs up because your encouragement has been such a huge part in reinvigorating me to get, you know, to actually enjoy this and get through the fear and get through the stuff and the things that stop you from from doing the things you want to do sometimes. You've, you've been wonderful and I love you for it and I really do appreciate it very, very much. So until I see you next time, keep it up. Thank you. Comments, thumbs up, and uh, thanks to everyone who makes my life possible. I love you for it. Bye-bye.